Hello, everyone, and welcome to Six Figure Souls, Doing Good and Making Money, the weekly hot podcast highlighting entrepreneurs that have found their calling and stuck to it and are doing good and making money. My name is Camille Miller. I am your host. I'm a business and life strategist. And today we have with us Sandy Townsend. She is a transference practitioner and teacher. Uh, welcome, Sandy, to our show. Thank you, Camille, for inviting me. You are so welcome. I forgot to mention that this is a very special season because I'm highlighting all of the members from the Natural Life Business Partnership. Uh, and you've been a longtime member, so I'm excited to have you and talk about what you what you do. Um, and I was able to experience it, so I really do want to talk about all of that. So transference practitioner, can you tell us a little bit about what that is or what it means for people that might be hearing it for the first time? So transference healing is a type of healing modality that actually combines all the healing modalities out there. Um, it's fairly new. It's about 25 years old, but it's a very mm -hmm. ancient um, healing modality that had was on the planet um, a long time ago, but came off the planet because we got so dense that we couldn't handle um, that type of energy. So 25 years ago, it was brought back because at that point, we started to, to make changes and it needed to come back to support people because it, it really holds the keys and the wisdom and the technology to help us at this time on the planet as we go through a bit of a ascension, as I like to say. Was it lost and then found again, or did someone have the keys and they just yeah didn't have it wasn't lost okay um, it was just taken off the planet because it was too much for our dense bodies to handle at okay. that time. But now our bodies are going through this change, and so it we can handle it more. So it's really here to help us with the whole ascension process that okay. is happening on the planet as well as within our bodies now are there a lot of practitioners because i in all the ones i work with you are the only one that i know that does this type of healing yeah there when i first started so i've been doing this for 15 years okay. there were only two practitioners in the u.s oh my goodness yeah now there's a few more but there's still not many. Um, and it's because it, it comes from Australia. The person who channeled it in is in Australia. Okay. So there's a lot of practitioners in Australia and the UK because that's it's just in that part of the world. So okay. most people here have not heard of it. Understood. Wow. And I'm curious, how did you find it or decide to go in this direction 15 years ago? Yeah, so I had been doing healing work for uh, at least 10 years prior. Like I started in the 1990s with Reiki and no one heard of Reiki back yeah. then. <laughs> you know, like, what's that word? <laughs> um, and and I was just like, I was learning so much. I had learned so many different modalities that 10 years ago, I was actually in an expo in New York City uh -huh. uh, where they showcase, you know, all different things. It was a spiritual expo and transference healing. It was 2009 and they only came that one time. They came from Australia and they were in that show. And wow. so I was very, I was very drawn, like when I felt, when I went up to the, um, you know, booth, like I was very drawn to the energy. And then I received the healing. And I was like, wow, this is so different. I said, I just want to learn it. And I immediately le learned it from that point. And that's how I started doing it. Wow. But you said there's, there's not like a local school. No. No, okay. when I learned it, I went to Australia to actually learn oh, it. Oh, yeah. wow. That's yeah. a big commitment. Yeah, because when they came, I was like, so are you teaching this in the U.S.? And they were like, no. 
wonder why they were there. (laughs) Yeah, I want to learn it. Um, So I actually went to Australia and learned it. That's incredible. Has it changed over the last 10 years? Like they've, have they added stuff? Has it gotten stronger? It, it, it's amazing because it has grown. um, uh, It's kind of hard to explain. Like the energy has its own movement and kind of its own momentum. So the more we grow, like the bigger the energy gets. It, it's really amazing. Like I've never seen anything like it. I call it magical. Like the energy is almost magical because of the way it just runs. I mean, if someone books an appointment with me, the minute they book, the energy starts to run. I am not doing anything. Like I just said, someone say to me the other day, like after I asked, like after I booked this, the healing, the guy goes, I could feel you working on me. Were you working on me? I said, no, Um, but it just starts to run. And like, it has its own thing behind it, its own force. It's really amazing. That's what I was going to ask the way you were explaining it. So th- this healing has its own energy? Yeah, it's just the way it's built. There's so much um, technology and and frequencies and everything behind it uh-huh. that it don't ask me how it works. I, I, <laughs> I've been doing this 15 years and I just say uh, it's magical um, because it just, it just goes, it just runs. Okay. It, it's really connected to the grid. And so because of that, it it's like this, I think it's like a force field that almost is, it's like alive, the energy. I understand. So you as a practitioner or any practitioners, are you just facilitating this energy going through people? What is your part in controlling this energy? That's so. Yeah, I I don't, honestly, I don't control it. Like anybody could learn how to do it. And I highly recommend, like I always say, everybody should learn how to do it only because to support yourself. Um, whenever you need it but so anybody can learn it like even a kid could learn this because it they're the procedures that are written down and you just follow the procedure you that's all you're doing you're not controlling anything you're just like like a i'll give you like a procedure so okay. one of them is and a lot of them like so you start make a diamond around a person so you make this diamond. Mm-hmm. That's it. Like that's what you're <laughs> saying. Well, you're doing like the diamond, and then you're doing you know like lines. Um, and but actually that diamond, like you just you just do it around a person. But that diamond is connecting to like the north, the south, the east, the west earth, air, fire, water. So income, all those elements, as soon as you do that, all those elements are being pulled in. So it's actually making like goes in and like makes these changes within us because our bodies are connected to the grid. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing that technology along with it, that's also connected to the grid. It allows your body to just make changes and transform. So in essence, like nobody, like you're not controlling anything in any way, like when I run them. That's why I tell people, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like I just run the energy and whatever changes, like you're meant in that moment to be making that the support your body needs, will happen. So, do you also feel that energy? Um, I do feel it. Like when I run it, um, I mean, I, I kind of really have to tune in to feel it or not, you know? Um, 
But yeah, I mean, I store it as you do it more, you grow more as a person. And so you start to embody the energy more. And so I actually carry that frequency. So it's almost always running in me, whether I'm doing it or not, it, it just starts to run. It, it's okay. carried within me. Okay. That's so interesting. Yeah. Does this energy um, kind of have a life of its own? Like it, it can it alone heal people without people asking for the healing? Does that make sense? Um, well, you have to receive the energy. You have to be willing. You mean if they don't want it? Yeah, I'm they... just saying if it's if it's a loose energy, can yeah, it go in no. to heal anyone? But... Yeah, I mean, you have to want the, the energy. Like you have to, you know, have a healing yeah okay. um, and it but it, it's it's kind of run by, by you and your higher self okay. so that's why I think I'm taking it take to take myself out of that and it's between the person or higher self and what they are ready to receive in that moment so to answer that I don't know if I answer that right it, it doesn't just run. yeah they have to want to receive it is what I'm hearing right like so I can't be in a place without someone's yeah, without someone's permission, I can't do a healing. Like I have to have, you know, for people like um family members and stuff. Right. Like I I can't just say, uh, let me do a healing on them. I think they need it. I really can't. Like I have to have permission from their higher self. Gotcha. Yeah. So interesting. So People, you, you said it's a, a really great thing for people to learn for themselves. Do they have to go to Australia to do this? No, you have me. Yeah, that's, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's part of it. I also teach it. That's so you are I... now a teacher in the U.S. and I assume that there's not very many of you. No, yeah, no, there's yeah. still only like two. Or right, there might be a couple more, but not in this area. Um, yeah, so... um. Is it something that they do online in a group? Do they contact you one on one? How how would people learn this so methodology? They learn it. Um, it's a three day training. Like to okay. do the, it's called fundamentals. And so fundamentals is a three day training, um, and it has to be done in person. Okay. And so I usually, you know, if so, just one person wants to learn it, I will do it. Um, but you know, it's it's nice when you have more than one because then they could help work with each other. Yeah. Um, otherwise they're working with me, which is okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're located in New Jersey. So these people would come to New Jersey right. and go through a training with you, a three-day training. Correct. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There's also smaller, um, that's the main training. That's why I always recommend people to learn. But there's also like one day workshops. Those are just workshops where um, you can also learn like there's a smaller version of this, the healing say that I do, okay. um, that people can learn just like the baby version, um, which is great also because it's quick. Um, it's great if you just need something quick. So now, um, who is this best for the, the actual getting the healing, I should say. Anybody could get the healing. It's great for kids. It's great for, you know, adults, but I will say that people who are drawn to it, uh, who really are more interested in it mm -hmm. are more spiritual. Okay. Um, Makes sense. Other than kids, kids just get it because kids already have the, what, it's called a light body intact. Kids just get yeah. it. You know, one healing, kids are done because that's all they need because it's, they just, they just kind of like the energy and they know. Yeah. Um, but mostly spiritual women or men, because if I would say, if you're not too spiritual, it's really hard to kind of understand Agreed. the whole concept. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And then you said with kids, it's like one and done, but what about adults? Is it a long-term thing? 
Does it wear off? Do they need to keep going and getting tweaked and getting a little bit better each time? How does and that adults, I always recommend th at least three times. Okay. Um, you know, some people get one. I, I, I have found the biggest compliment to me is I have people like from say seven years ago that have come for one healing and all of a sudden they come back and said, oh, you helped me so much. And I'm like, oh, that's good. Because <laughs> I wasn't sure, like, you know, if someone comes once and I never hear from them again, I don't really know, you right. know, how the healing was for them. Um, but anyway, so I always recommend at least three to help you. But I've had people come for a whole year, two years. Wow. It's, it's only a once a works best, like once a month. Okay. Um, so it's not like a weekly thing. Okay. So is it really a tweaking of their energy? Like what would make someone say, I need that healing? Is it because they're in pain? Is there emotional distress? Is it just like, I need something in my life? So people who suddenly, you know, who come all of a sudden, usually it's stress. You know, some people have physical pain. I have people, I had people come for money, like money issues, <laughs> like all kinds of things for, um, you know, some people just kind of feel numb and want okay. that passion mm -hmm. again. So people come, all different reasons people come. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to set the stage for, you know, um, so people can hear if it's for them. Yeah. You know, like kind of put out there. So it's really for anyone is what I'm hearing. Anyone can use this type of clearing. It's really like a yeah. clearing. Yeah, it is. I think it's really best. I think it's really good for people who want to grow within themselves because actually that's the whole concept behind it because it's for growth. Growth within yourself if you want to become more empowered. Um, you know, if the, you hold certain fears or beliefs and you want to move past that stuff or traumas, like this really gets to the root root of what is stopping you. And that's why I really loved it when I learned it, because it it works on so many levels that it could really help you get to what needs to, you know, you need to heal to move forward in your life. Now, does the client themselves feel the change? Yeah, yeah. I would say what people really notice is they start to think differently. They Their relationships change. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing because there's such a shift in your consciousness from okay. these healings. Like you look at things differently. You don't have like the battles in your life. You, you just it you just make such shifts in your consciousness that I've never seen anything do it like transference healing. Wow. Wow. And and I will tell the audience that I did um, go through this with Sandy. She gifted me a session last week. Um, and afterwards I definitely felt lighter, like, like yeah, a lot of lighter. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't explain it, but yeah. it was lighter. Like I had this lighting, like I was just floating, but in a very good way. Like there was no heaviness to anything that I was burdening. And I yeah. had it in the evening, so I went to sleep afterwards. So, <laughs> but yeah. I did have this like lighter feeling to me. Yeah, people say their um, their mind is much clearer. Like when people have a lot of, you know, some people are just in their head yeah. day and night. Like they never get out of that cycle. This yes. people have said, my mind was silent. <laughs> like <laughs> it just cuts right through like all that clutter that yeah. people keep in their mind. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, I didn't put the two together, but I actually have done a lot of creative work on my business this last week since that. I don't know if it would have come anyway, but I was much clearer yeah. on where am I going. Yeah, exactly. And did a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. It's very subtle, but goes like, like I always say, it goes very deep in the body. So the, there's such subtle changes, but yet 
they're not so subtle, but like you're <laughs> saying, like all of a sudden you're creative where you might not even think, and I say they're subtle because you might not even think about it. Yeah. Like, oh, maybe this is connected to that. Yeah. Feeling. I didn't put it together with that. But now that I'm talking to you again, I was like, wow, it was a yeah. killer weekend for all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. So what is the best way for people to find you if this sounds like something they want to explore and they're like, okay, I'm totally open to receiving this new type of energy. What's the best way to get in contact with you? Sure. They could just go on my website. It's okay. diamondascension.net. Um, and on there, you could schedule time to speak to me. There's, you can schedule sessions so you can really do it all the website. Excellent. And um, I should also say, is that a good place to find out if there's already healers and um, energy workers that are maybe listening to this and they think it's a great another modality to to add, you know, to their toolbox? Can they also get information there? Yeah, they can. Um, but if you want to learn more um, about transference healing in general, I mean, there's stuff on my website, but there's also a transferencehealing.com website if somebody okay. wants to get it. Terrific. Um, and I'll add that if you're driving or listening to this on audio, you can go to the show notes later on and check out um, Sandy's bio and all of her links and information will be attached in our show notes. So you could go do that. But otherwise it's sandytownsend.net. Um, Sandy Townsend. Oh, for my email? Yeah. Uh, No, for your website. Oh, Diamond Ascension. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Diamond yeah, Ascension. That's okay. Yeah. Awesome. So that'll be in there. So Sandy, thank you so much for being a part of our broadcast today. Thank you for this inviting so interesting. me. Yeah, thank you're welcome. All right. And all of our listeners, thank you so much for taking the time to listen. If you want more information about the Soul Professional Movement, you can go to soulprofessional.com. This podcast is sponsored by the Natural Life Business Partnership. If you want to live in a higher vibration, have an alternative approach to business and are here to help repair the world, come check us out at soulprofessional.com. Thanks, everyone. <music>